ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Manuel Graphics tutorial. Today in this tutorial, we'll be learning how to create this 2016 themed, uh, uh, 2016 text with a seasonal theme. So we've got spring, winter, autumn, summer. I couldn't really differentiate between spring and summer as I didn't know what to do and I wanted to keep it simple. But I made this slightly brighter than that. Um, so let me show you the final image. This is with color, color corrections and stuff. I think it looks really cool. So we're just going to be learning how to do the text. So to do this, we're just going to go onto a new uh, layer. Because I've already got my document here. Onto a new layer. And I'm going to start off by adding some tef text. So Shift A and text. And I'm going to write 2016. and we don't want to uh, make it on a 90 degree angle, we want to keep it down there. I'm just going to change the font quickly. If I can find my fonts. Um, Fonts, I'm going to use Futura, where is it, there. and I'm going to extrude it somewhat like that. So now we've got our text here with an extrusion, I think it looks pretty cool. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to add materials to it. So we're going to first of all add a base, which we're going to call ground. And it's going to be a brown color. Like so. We're going to go into front view and orthographic mode. And we are going to have to create loop cuts on these. The only problem I haven't talked about is we're going to have to do each of the letters individually to customize them. So we're going to do 2, Shift D. This is the most uh, effective way in achieving a good customizable text. Doing them each individually. Okay, now we've got them each individually. We're going to have to convert each one to a um, to a mesh, not a text. Because to edit text, when we hit edit, which is tab, it lets us edit the actual text. But we want it to be able to edit the actual uh, faces and, and elements of it. And to do this, we're going to hit Alt-C and we're going to convert um, mesh to mesh um, from a curve meta surf or text. And we're going to do that to all of them. So now when we go into edit, we can edit all the faces and vertices, etc. So now we've got that done, I'm going to go ahead and create some lines. Control R to create a loop cut and around something like that. Do the same with this shape. Like so. And this shape. What you think is right is what's going to look best. And now we've got all our loop cuts, we're going to add some material. So I'm going to have this one as the summer material. And I'm just going to hit B and select the top section. And I'm going to add, I've got a summer material already. I'm just going to assign it, which is a, a, a lightish green, like pale green. This one's going to be autumn. Can add the autumn material that I've already got set. Do I have it not? Yeah. 
This one's going to be winter, obviously. That's just a white. Autumn was just like a brown, a light brown. And it's going to be spring, which is a lighter green than the um, summer. So now we've got our text. Let's scale it up. This one down, further, this one down, and this one down. Okay, something like that. So I'm happy how that's come out. The next thing we've got to do is add some cliffs. Now I've got a tutorial um, out which explains how to create these um, cubic mountains. So I'm just going to duplicate this and put it on there and just do as many as you like Now we just need to pull them up so they look like they're actually connected. And like so. So add those as you please. Um, go check out the tutorial if you don't know how to make them. So the next thing we're going to obviously have to do is create the trees. Now the way I created the trees is I created this very simple, it's like two objects. Very simple base tree here which is a, obviously a trunk which is a cube scaled on the Z, trunk on the Z axis and scaled in and in on the X and Y axis. And this here is just a cone in which the um, it only has four faces and it was scaled vertically and shrunk horizontally and on the y-axis and what I did to do this and the rest of it is just placing it and if you're wondering how I created the winter tree I did that by subdividing it and that leaves, leaves us with oh, subdivided price. That leaves us with this um, these interesting subdivisions, which I then assign these a white color. And I do this in quite a lot of my um, images, and assign the winter material, and that gives it a almost snow uh, touched peak which is the effect we're looking for. And then I just move these by hitting the M key to this layer. And then you just randomly position them on top of your um, planes. I render this 1920 by 180 and 200 samples. And for the lighting, I used a HDRI, which looks like this with the with multiple um, important, in, what's that word? Multiple importance, yeah, turned on, and the map resolution on 2048, and the max bounce is set to 1. I then dragged it into Photoshop or any other editor that you like, and I um, so it started off like this. I then added a background, I then duplicated the layer, um, lightened it and then blurred it and then set it to 
not load it, and set it to Zoth Light and opacity of 38. I added some curves, vibrance, and a hue and saturation. And then on top, I added a uh, a sunburn or, or flare just to lighten the image up. So, if you've got any questions, ask in the description below. And I hope you um, learned something, and I'll catch you in my next video.